sitting here <clears throat> in the dining room at 4.28 late afternoon or early evening. It's December the 22nd, 2016. We're coming to the end of the month. I just put my diary away. <clears throat> Ended on page 1035. <clears throat> Tomorrow will be page 1036. Tomorrow is the 23rd of December. So I'm sitting here and I was reading before I came to tape this video, How Should a Person Be by Sheila Hitchett. You know, I got to look this up, how to pronounce this. Sheila Hitchett. So I've been reading that, something that, like I said, it's, it's not blowing me away. <clears throat> Before that, I was reading this afternoon on Highway 61, Music, Race, Evolution, and Cultural Freedom by Dennis McNally. I really like this book. It's not too heavy and it's not too light. It's very interesting. I was reading on the, the beginning of uh, the origin of jazz music. Kind of interesting. So I was reading that. And this morning I read for devotions. I read this, ap this morning, Biblical Authority After Babel, Retrieving the Solas and the Spirit of Mere Protestant Christianity by Kevin J. Van Zuzer. So I was reading that. And I got out to read Called by Triune Grace, Divine Rhetoric, and the Effectual Call by Jonathan Hoglin. This morning, uh, we went to the, my wife and I went to grocery shopping early this morning, and I found this from my Bob Dylan collection. Bob Dylan, this is a life reissue of Life's Classic Edition. It has on here a winner of the Nobel Prize in Literature of 2016. So I got this from my Bob Dylan collection. I was reading this afternoon. Uh, has all kinds of photos in here. Things I've seen before, nothing I hadn't seen. But, um, so yeah. So I got that. My Bob Dylan collection. And I got some books in the mail. These, uh, I, our oldest son gave me an Amazon card. And I bought these books with it. This is the Grand Hotel Abysk, The Lives of the Frankfurt School by Stuart Jeffries. I got that. I've, I want it's more like biography on uh, Theodore Ord Ordeno, Walter, Walter Benjamin, Herbert Marcus, and Max Hochemeyer. These are uh, Jewish intellectuals who were in the Frankfurt School, and I, I've been kind of interested in them, and I've been looking at this book, and I finally bought it. Also, I bought this biography. Well, it's really taken from the diaries. Uh, uh, it says here, this is called John Albury, My Own Life, by R Ruth Skur. Uh, John Albury is famous for his uh, little brief lives. This is really a, an, an abridged edition, but I've had this for years. And this is, it says here, uh, born on the brink of the modern world, John Obrey was witness to the great intellectual and political upheavals of the 17th century. He knew everyone in note in England, writers, philosophers, mathematicians, doctors, astrologers, lawyers, statesmen, and wrote about them all, leaving behind a great gift to his posterity, a compilation of biographical information titled Brief Lives, which is a strikingly modest and radical way invented the art of biography. Aubrey was born in Whitshire, England in 1626, the reign of Queen Elizabeth and earlier the dissolution of the monasteries were not too far in distant memory during his childhood. He lived through England's civil war, the execution of Charles I, <coughs> and the brief rule of Oliver Cromwell and his son, 
and the restoration of Charles II. Experiencing these constitutional crises and regime changes, Aubrey was impassioned by the preservation of traces of ancient Britain, of English monuments, minor houses, manor houses, monasteries, abbeys, and churches. He was a natural philosopher in Aquaria, a book collector and a chronicler of the world around him and the lives of his friends, both men and women. His method of writing was characteristic of his manner, modest, self-depreciating, witty, and concerned, above all, with the collection of facts that would otherwise be lost to time. John Albury, My Own Life, is an extraordinary book about the first modern biographer, which reimagines what biography can be. This intimate diary of Aubrey's days is compassed is composed of his own words, collected, co correlated, and enlarged upon by Ruth Skur in an act of meticulous scholarship and daring imagination. Skur's biography honors and echoes Aubrey's own in innovations in the art of biography. Rather than subject his life to conventional narratives, Skur has collected the evidence, the remnants of a life from manuscripts, letters, in books and arranged it chronologically, modernizing words and spellings and adding explanations when necessary with sources provided and extensive endnotes. Here are Aubrey's intricate drawings of Stonehenge and the ancient Avebury stones. Aubrey's on Charles I's execution. Uh, From the darkness, Skur has wrestled a vibrant, intimate account of the life of an ingenious man. So I got that. I've always been kind of curious about him. After reading Aubrey's Brief Lives, I've had this for years in my in our library. This is a penguin book. It's an abridgment. I don't know how big the original one was. I think it was like several volumes. But anyway, look forward to reading this. Uh, so I got those in the mail. So that's what's going on here. I have some other books coming in the mail sometime, maybe tomorrow or Saturday. I don't know, there's any mail on Saturday. So that's what's going on here in my book world. It's kind of a quiet day. So I suppose I'll close and uh, until next time, have a I suppose I supposed to say a Merry Christmas or a blessed Christmas uh, and a happy or a blessed New Year. But anyway, I'll probably make a video tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday too, Lord willing. So till next time, bye.